Well, today marks the last official day of summer and fall begins tomorrow. And it is known as the fall equinox or the autumn equinox. And that just tells you it's equal days of total day and also nighttime. And as we transition into winter, that means shorter days and longer nights. And it officially starts at 2.52 a.m tomorrow morning. Now it's not going to feel like fall. In fact, the National uh, Prediction Center or the Climate Prediction Center gives out these long range forecasts and they're saying South Texas, even parts of the eastern US are still going to see above normal temperatures, which means for us as we transition into early October, still temperatures in the low to mid 90s and that's how they were today. 92 here in town was the high temperature uh, at 97 in Kingsville, 97 in Alice, a touch cooler in Foul Furious, but not a whole lot. 93 in Rock and the upper 80s over in Port Aransas. So if you are planning any Sunday night plans tonight, 85 degrees through about 10 o'clock, sunset around 727. Nice breeze out there from the southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour with a few isolated showers, mainly out to the north near George West and also Beeville. But mainly quiet outside our tower cam, outside our KIII studios. It's 91, feels like 103. Southeast winds moving at 11. But look at the heat index. We're still pulling 103 with humidity up there right now. Dew points are in the mid 70s. Now there was rainfall today. You might have missed it if uh, mainly in downtown Corpus Christi and also near the airport they picked up about three tenths of an inch and then everywhere else was very traceable amounts of rain. Uh, just one of those quick showers that pop up and just really dissipate. And now there are a few showers out in Bee County and also Live Oak, but really just raining themselves out as they travel northward on 281. And we're just left with mostly clear skies. And here in town, just mainly clear with a few clouds out across the area at the low levels. And out to the west again, just a few isolated showers moving through George West, but again, uh, not producing any lightning or any rumbles of thunder, just good supplemental rainfall at this hour. Now, as far as uh, going forward, high pressure stays mostly in control. Now good news it's going to start to back off just a little bit still influence our weather pattern, which means hot conditions, high temperatures in the low 90s. And as it backs off into let's say Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to make room for an area of low pressure to move into the four corners that could shave off a few degrees on our high temperatures. Not a whole lot. High temperatures go from let's say 92 to 91 on Wednesday and then back up to the mid 90s on Thursday and Friday. So not a big cool down transitioning into fall and also very minimal rain chances. So not a whole lot is going to change as we transition into autumn. As far as the tropics, it is pretty active. Two named storms are out there, one of which is Jerry wind sustained at 65 with wind gusts up to 75. This is moving northwest at about nine to the south. Newly formed Karen, a weekend tropical storm wind sustained at 40 miles per hour, so barely hanging on there. This is also moving northwest into Puerto Rico at about 13 miles per hour. So these are pretty quick moving storms and pretty active out across the Atlantic. We also have a disturbance out across the uh, coast of Africa. This is a long ways away, so we'll begin to uh, look at that a little bit more in the next coming days. But as far as Karen and also Jerry, uh, they're mainly staying out in the Atlantic, so we do not have to worry about that going forward. But Puerto Rico and also Bermuda will have to watch this closely. 70 forecast high temperature stay in the low to mid 90s overnight lows in the mid to upper 70s. Again, fall starts tomorrow at 2:53 a.m. Mostly sunny as we transition into autumn. All right, that's it for the forecast. Keep it here on TV3. Travis Green with sports. He's up next.